In this lecture, we will see about uh, Power BI table functions and uh, table functions are uh, will work with the whole table and uh, these are few function names which are quite popular uh, filter all distinct values also like this and uh, what we will do here is uh, we will see some examples from that and uh, first let us see how we can use the filter function so i will open uh, the previous uh, uh, dashboard or the power bi report that which we have created uh, using our sales excel data uh, which has couple of columns on the sales uh, table and uh, we will uh, see how we can first of all how we can uh, copy a table so if you uh, see here we have the power bi report and uh, then if i will uh, if you'll see here if you will go to uh, the modeling tab you can see here there's a new table is there so click on new table and then if you'll see here there's a function it is uh, we have to write a function for this so i will say let's say sales copy we will simply copy the sales table so i'll just put the name here i'll click on enter and the moment i'll click on enter you can see here there's a table copy got created not only this if you'll go to the data tab you will be able to see the records also so whatever the columns will be having so i'll select uh, the cells copy you can see here this is our data now we can also filter records for example let's say you want to create or you want to retrieve the records uh, where uh, the sales person is bj or vavna or padmini or you want to or uh, take from the customer name or product name uh, we can filter based on the customer location for example let's say in this case uh, i will add the filter here so what we will filter is uh, we will filter the customer location where a customer location is not hyderabad then only we will uh, pull the records so i will put filter before our sales table and if you'll see uh, the syntax it first it is taking the table and then the fil filter expression and next our filter expression we will put so the filter expression is customer uh, location uh, we will take so if you'll see here we will take from the sales table customer location not equal to let's say i will put hyderabad and i will close the bracket and click on enter now if you'll see here now we have 21 records now you will not see any record which is customer location is hyderabad so now this way you can put filter conditions next what we will do is we will try to uh, know the percentage that our these products are contributing for example in this particular case if you'll see we have uh, our sales uh, price and quantity for each product now we want to know the percentage so to know this percentage we have to use couple of things on this first first of all we need to retrieve the sum of everything sum of for every row i, I mean to say uh, so we want we will first see uh, how much exactly they are contributing the total sales uh, because someone has even four product the price is different so we will first of all see what will be the total price for uh, for all these uh, uh, records now for this i will create a new measure so if you will go to the home tab you will see here new measure make sure you select the particular table so in this case our table name is sales copy so i will first of all i will say total sales and this total sales will be uh, uh, the sum x that we will uh, use here because we want to retrieve for each and every record in the table so i will put sum x sorry i will put the sum x and then first thing it will take the table so in this case our table name is sales copy because from sales copy only we uh, we will retrieve that and then the expression in this case the expression is price and uh, into our quantity so if you'll see here sales copy quantity so make sure that you select the table name correctly now if you'll see here i added that uh, in that major so if you'll scroll down now you can see here this is the table 
and uh, here we can see total uh, total sales came and this is our total sales now let's uh, go to a visualization we will add a page so i will rename it so i will say table functions and on this i will simply uh, use a table visualization so in this table visualization we will add uh, the product name and then the customer name and then we will take uh, oops i'm taking from the sales table make sure you will take from the particular table you want so in this case it will be the product name uh, the customer name and then we will take uh, the total sales so now if you'll see here this is going to be our product for for this product so whatever the quantity and then the price you can see here just to show it so let's add a couple of columns on this so we will take the price as well as we will take the quantity and let's bring down total sales here so now if you will see here in our visualization you can see here this is the price and then quantity you can see here this is the total sales how it is coming next we need to retrieve the percentage for each row so for example in this case we will see this desktop and this company a combination how much uh, percentage they actually contributed to this amount of sales so to do this first of all we need to add or we need to calculate something which will actually generate the total sales for each column so for to do that we have to use the sum sum x function with the all uh, function why because if you will use the all things function then you will not have to it will take every row each and every row so any filter anything will be there it will ignore those things so i will create a new measure here so i'll go to the here i will make sure that i'll select this table and then you can see here this is our major so i will give the name as let's say total sales amount total sales amount and it will be i will use the sum x because we want to calculate for every row and instead of directly the sales copy i will take all and then i will take the sales copy and i'll close the bracket and then if you'll see here we are our expression so our expression is price so let me just put sales copy price into our sales copy quantity you can see here i'll just close it and i will click on enter so if you'll see here now this is our total sales amount so if i will if i will actually add into our visualization we will see something interesting here so i will just select it now you can see here everywhere the same value is coming which is of course we required because we need to uh, calculate the percentage so now we will calculate the percentage so i will create one more measure here so if you'll see here and then you can see here i'll click on new measure and i will say sales percentage i'll put the percentage symbol here then it will be total sales so if you'll see here total sales divided by our total sales amount so you can see here this is the percentage so i'll click on enter and now what we will do is you can see here uh, we created this uh, in in a in the other table in the sales table so we don't need this so what we will do here is um, i will select this one make sure that you select the table properly so if you'll see here we have selected now the table properly i'll right click over here and i'll say new major and i will say sales percentage and here we will say total sales divided by total sales amount i'll click on enter so you can see here it is a name is there so i'll say percentage 
click on enter so now our this one got created i will add it you can see here 0 0.0507 like this it is coming because we have to change uh, we have to format it so i'll say percentage so now you can see here it is coming 5.42 6.52 this this one so individually we can see uh, uh individually we can see the percentage here um we don't need this to show every uh, or your user or something like that uh, you can just close it because that's the calculation we require that's the reason we have added that and now if you'll see here we have the total sales we have the sales percentage we have the quantity price everything and we can see here how we can uh, we saw here how we can use this filter function or all function how we can calculate the percentage so we in our future lectures we will see some of some more functions as well i'll put this uh, this power bi report also so you can download and you can check all these major formulas everything